Welcome. I've done a couple different videos on the APFS system on a Mac, and I'll put a link in the description to my Apple playlist where you can find those videos. And specifically in a previous video, I formatted an external like flash drive as APFS encrypted. So you could store encrypted data on this drive. And in that video, I formatted the drive so it erased the drive. In this video, I'm going to talk about converting an APFS flash drive to encrypted APFS without formatting it or erasing the existing data on it. So I do want to say that anytime you format or partition or encrypt, decrypt, things like that, things can go wrong. So make sure you have a backup and you don't do this on the single copy of data that you have. That being said, the first thing I want to do is go into disk utility on the Mac and choose the drive I want to convert. And then I'll run disk first aid on it. And that's just a quick test to see if there's anything wrong with it. And if there are any errors, you should fix them before you encrypt it. So I'll hit done there. I'll close this. So I have a list of commands I'm going to run, and those will be on my website. So I'll put a link below to that. I have a Samsung bar flash drive plugged into my Mac, and it's 32 gigabytes. And in that drive, I have this video called train whistle underscore MP4. It's 273 megabytes. So if I click on this and say command I, you see it says format is APFS. So it's unencrypted right now. So if I go into my terminal, the first thing I want to do is list my partition. So I'll type disk util space list. And you see at the bottom here, we have disk four is Samsung bar. So this is disk four partition one. And that is the partition I want to encrypt. So in order to do that, I want to type sudo space disk util space APFS space, and then encrypt volume space. And then I want to type disk four S one. So that's disk four S is, I think that means slice one space dash user space disk. So I'll hit enter here. So I use sudo here, but I've used sudo previously within this terminal session. You may have to type in your password for your account on your Mac. So once you have that done, it'll ask you for your passphrase you want to use on this disk. So I'll type that in. It'll ask me to repeat it. So before I hit enter here, I want to show one other thing. If we want to see the status of this, we can type disk util APFS list. So I'll hit that now. And we see the volume here that I want to encrypt. You'll see this container for disk four. Well, we can enter that in after this APFS list, and it will only show this container. I'll press the up arrow and I can hit it again so we can have an updated version of that. We can take that further, we can press up and hit Control A. I'll go to the beginning of this line and I'll type clear, and then semicolon, I'll hit enter. So this will clear the screen and show us this report. So if I press up and enter, it will refresh it. So I'll go back to the previous screen, I'll hit enter. So it says it's encrypting it, so I'll go here and I'll look at the status. So you see here it says encryption process is 34%, 56, 63, 71, 88, 95, and 100. So it says file vault yes is unlocked. So this drive starts out unlocked. We can open it up and we can see the file. Now if I select this and say command I, it still shows APFS. So what I want to do is I'll eject this and I'll pull it out and I'll plug it right back in and it will have a pop-up here that's asking me for the password. There we go. So that password will decrypt the drive. I'll select it again, I'll hit Command I and here we see it says APFS encrypted. We run this command again. We see it says yes, it's file vault and unlock. So now that we've encrypted the drive, anything we copy on that drive will be encrypted on the drive until we decrypt the whole drive. So if you want to turn encryption off, you can do the same thing like you did to encrypt it, except for instead of encrypt drive, we'll say decrypt. So I'll run that, I'll hit enter. It's gonna ask for my password. And then I'll go back to the status page. We'll look at that. And now it's decrypting it. So we're at 34%, 55, 64, 71, 79, 89, 98, and file vault says no. File vault is what they call encryption on here. So if we select this drive and do get info, you'll see it says APFS encrypted, but for some reason the system doesn't seem to update that. But if I eject the drive and insert it again, you'll see we won't have a password. So there, we got into it without a password. So that's how you can encrypt an APFS drive that has data on it already. And like I said, you need to be careful that if you have data on there that you would get in trouble if you lost, then you probably wouldn't want to run this procedure and you should probably back it up either way. So. If you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.